Suns first half first half versus the Lakers. There's a one and a half in the market. Um, look, I- I'm not gonna overcomplicate this. It's a pretty simple cap. The Lakers haven't covered a single fucking first half spread this season. They're 0 and 8. And like, look, this is always the question. And I love, I do love these questions that we talk about on buckets. Cause like, I love the process of betting the question of, okay, they're 0 and 8. So are you buying high on this trend of the Lakers not covering? And I'm like, no, because the Lakers are still only three and a half point dogs to a Suns team with KD and Beal back on the road when they're still missing half their roster, AD will probably play, and they just got the shit kicked out of them by the Rockets and Magic. Like, this, the, like the Lakers are not good right now. And I do think that, I don't think that you should always just, like, ride these trends to the end. If it's like, oh, they've gone over six times in a row. Like, you should look at the opponent. But, like, the Suns are not, the Suns are definably not a bad team. I don't know how good they are. But I'm not, like, this isn't, even the Pelicans, with how banged up they are. Like, if the Pelicans were three and a half in this spot, with how banged up they are, I'd be like, no, nah, this is not the spot to keep riding that trend. But Suns, at home, tournament game, big time spot, Lakers, they'll get up for it because it's the Lakers. Yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll play Suns first half. And if I if I lose on the first time that the Lakers cover a first half spread this season, I will just deal with it, Sean. Yeah, I mean, Friday night, this is going to be the energy thing kept coming up. It's LeBron, it's very clear when he's irritated. And mm-hmm. he was it. He was so irritated coming out of the Houston game last night. If you saw the clip, they asked him about energy, and he kind of stopped back and looked at all the reports and said, is that the theme here? I've heard energy yeah. like four or five times. You guys keep mentioning energy. Is that what we're doing here? So. I expect LeBron to show up, but that's never the issue, right, Matt? Like, <laughs> I'm never not, I'm never worried about LeBron showing up. That's never, ever, ever the problem. So, AD, of course, we'll see if he goes, but I expect Phoenix to show up in this spot. And how about this? If I, if, if I expect, say I do expect the Lakers to show up and I expect Phoenix to show up, I like Phoenix. So, yeah. I like the spot. Yeah. Uh, Lakers have the worst point differential in the first quarter since 1970. Not not good. Not not great there, Bob. Um, that's why the energy questions are coming. Is because the, the the reporters that cover that team are so on message with how the Lakers and LeBron present the idea of the team that it's like, well, they're supposed to be good. So like it's gotta be an energy problem why you're starting flat. And I'm like, what if they're just not very good? Like, what if that's the answer here? It's just like they're not very good right now. They yeah. might get better later. But, like, Austin Reeves has the seventh worst raw plus minus in the league. They're getting killed. Killed in his minutes. Killed. LeBron steps off. LeBron, at age 39, steps off the court for four seconds, and they lose 10 points. Like, it's really bad. So I'll go ahead and I'll take – I will keep riding the trend, and I'll take Suns first half here. 